Hey, what is going on, you soup slurping snivies? So we just had a regional championship happen over the weekend. It was actually the Sao Paulo regional championship, and this is actually the deck that took second place. It is a Mewtwo Malamar box deck. Uh, super interesting concept, super interesting list, um, and I thought I would go ahead and try it out, showcase it for you guys. Um, I've had play, I played zero games with it. I'm going to be pretty new to it. Definitely going to make a lot of mistakes, so bear with me on that. Um, there's a ridiculous amount of late game in this deck. We got a lot of options. We got the Trevnor. Like I said, it is a Mewtwo box, so we do have the two Mew and Mewtwo. There's one Ultra Necrozma, one Naganadel GX. We got the Genkyu, Gengar Mimikyu tag team as well. There's a Latios, uh, a reset stamp to combo. We'll slow our opponent down to the late game, or we can combo it with the Night Watch from the Trevnor. Um, Malon Lana's, it is a tag call. There's a t small tag call engine in here. It's one Caitlyn and Cynthia, two Malon Lana to tag call um, so there is a healing factor in the deck as well and yeah it's a very interesting looking deck i have no idea what to expect with it uh when we get into a game have played zero games with it like i said so let's go ahead let's try it out and see what happens okay we're going first our opening hand is not great but we're looking at a turn two warehouse gx um to kind of slow our opponent down get us some cards to work with as well we're hoping we don't get turn one full blitzed uh, but yeah we'll see what our opponent's got we got the Viridian Forest top deck so we can pull off the Horror House GX for the full effect we can go turn one attach turn two attach Horror House our opponent can't play any cards out of their hand and we drop to seven cards they also drop to seven cards but they can't play any cards out of their hand um, so we're hoping it sticks and we're hoping it sticks that's that's really it um <clears throat> we're hoping they don't get off like a turn one full blitz or can hit us at all this turn because then otherwise next turn they would also just be able to hit us again and maybe knock us out so we're hoping we uh they just go like attach pass and then we go okay that's cool attach horror house to draw some cards it will be our gx attack which is not ideal but we'd rather play the game than not so we're gonna go for it there's an e radar from our opponent so they'll probably be retreating to the hoopa for the turn which is pretty makes it pretty safe for them but we do have the great catcher so we can go whorehouse and then great catcher the peak around back into the active and then it knock it out with poltergeist on the following turn so that's going to be our game plan we're going to go i mean our let our opponent play out the turn they'll probably end with hoopa in their active they got e radar so we know they're playing a more aggressive peak around build so they probably play zerora gx some builds don't play zerora gx right now if you play the E-Radar, you usually play Zerora GX because you also play Dedenne or like a heavier count. Yeah, there's a Zerora. So they're going to retreat to Hoopa at the end of their turn, leave Hoopa in the active. They're preparing for us using the Horror House GX. And we're going to be like, okay, that's fine. We'll do it. We'll trap the Hoopa. Hopefully the Hoopa doesn't get an energy because then we, when we put Malamar in play, it could actually hit us. So maybe I wouldn't put the Malamar in play if they do get an energy on this with the Tapu Koko Prism. Uh, they've already attached for turn to the active. So uh, they're not going to switch and attach to the Hoopa. Uh, and then we will go horror house and then we'll go great catcher up your picaram and then hopefully knock out the picaram i guess it's possible we don't knock it out but hopefully they have five what is it five items five item cards five trainer cards trainer cards not just item cards trainer cards so stadium supporters also count um we'll see how much they. but the more they clear out their hand here the more cards they draw so the higher chance they still have to draw into stuff so yeah, even if they do a good job about clearing trainer cards out of their hand right now this turn that means they have less cards in hand, which means they draw more cards off of the, the Horror House GX, and then we could have a higher chance of knocking them out. And there's a tag call, for example, right there, getting that out of their hand. We'll see if they grab any supporters. Nope, just going to be the Raichu and Raichu. It makes sense to me. And yeah, biggest deal here is going to be what do they leave in their active. And uh, yeah, that's it. What are they going to end up leaving in their active here? I mean, like I said, probably, if I had to guess, retreat to the Hoopa. It's the... Oh, got the energy for it as well so if i put the malamar in play or oh, they can already hit us for 20 hits for 20 more i put malamar in play they can hit us for 60 so i kind of don't want to put malamar in play now um, so i'm probably not going to put malamar in play i'm probably just not going to put malamar in play i'll probably bench this guy Viridian force Viridian force away our top deck but i want to say oh wait they went to the right you okay that's fine with me um oh shoot e switch oh no they can't set up full blitz though so. yeah we're good we're good we're good and actually, now we don't even have to Great Catcher because they left their peak around their active. And we actually top decked a Caitlyn and Cynthia. So now this gets a little bit more awkward. Well, we can evolve this. I can Caitlyn and Cynthia away the Great Catcher because we played two, I think. I think I'm still going to end up using Horror House here. There's no, like, no way I don't. 
Um, okay, but we got some more stuff to work with here. We got the Baby Blue Cephalon. I'm going to throw down the Jirachi. I am going to Viridian Forest. Get rid of... I don't know if I want Latios GX in this matchup. Uh, it seems okay, but overall not too ridiculously good. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. Get the Psychic. Hit him with the House GX. There we go. House GX. Get ourselves some more cards to work with. There's that Naganadel that we don't need anytime soon and then we're gonna poltergeist next turn and then we're gonna fireworks bomb on the next turn and then we're gonna look for other great catcher and knock out this raichu and end the game ideally in three turns this turn poltergeist knockout hopefully next turn or eventually actually they might not even knock this out they can retreat oh they can run away still i should have kept the great catcher i forgot that they could still run away um for some reason i was like well if we horror house they can't retreat but they can retreat um Oops, uh, yeah, they can still retreat their Picaram. I should have definitely kept that Great Catcher in my hand. Should have gotten rid of literally anything else, something else. Um, definitely a mistake. Uh, I got nothing I got nothing else to defend myself with. That was like, I was like, well, they can't retreat. No, they can still retreat. There's nothing stopping them from retreating. I don't know why I, thought, I ever thought that they couldn't retreat. All right. I'm gonna come back in this guy, get ourselves another Malamar. Oops, another Malamar. Uh, I mean, we're just going to set up to, like, knock out the Picaram on the following turn. Going to treasure away the Naganadel. Get that into the discard pile. Grab ourselves a, well, Ultra Necrozma's prize. I kind of wanted Ultra Necrozma here. Uh, we could go with a Night Watch. Um, <clears throat> I could just grab the Giratina. And then we can just actually reinforce that away. Just keep thinning out our deck. Get a Psychic. Put on the Baby Blue stuff along because I expect to be using him. We'll see. And then Cynthia. And then we will. We will still. Uh, Poltergeist is probably just not going to be super effective. Um, or as effective as we would like. Because I got I got rid of the Great Catcher. Uh, one, two. Yeah, there's plenty. There was five in there. We would have KO'd the Picaram had I just held on to the Great Catcher. And we would have pretty much just won the game on that turn. Um, we put three abilities in play. I wasn't really paying attention to that as well. So this guy. Okay, we got the Ultron across. But that is a big find for sure. Um, yeah, we're not as afraid of, yeah, we can use Mewtwo to actually copy the, um, we can use Mewtwo to copy Tag Bird if we want next turn, and then go into Ultra Necros on the following turn. Um, they also need a lot to KO our Gengar Mimikyu here. They actually might not be able to knock it out. Um, if they, I mean, knock it out with Tag Vault, they could probably definitely do if they wanted to, but then that means they use their Tag Vault to take the knockout here, which I would be fine with. Um, I guess it doesn't leave me in that great of a spot because of the situation I have put myself in. Um, but I guess we'd be okay if they did that. Yeah, we'd be okay if they did that. Then we have to figure out some other game plan to win the game. I don't even know how I want to win the game from here. Probably Mewtwo copy Tag Purge is going to be one of our main ways to go. Yeah, Mewtwo copy and Tag... Man, why didn't I just keep the Great Catcher? I'm like, yeah, I keep thinking back on it now. I'm like, all I had to do is keep the Great Catcher. For some reason, I thought, well, they can't... If they can't play Switch or Malo and Lana, they can't move their Pikaram. But they have, they have Zerora. They can, they can move him just fine. Um, yeah, they can just move... They can just retreat him. That's no problem. Oh, man. All right, Guzma and Hala coming down now. Uh, I'm, I didn't watch their tag call at all. I think they'd only got Guzma and Hala, maybe. Let's take a look. Guzma and Hala. <coughs> Played tag call. Drew, Caitlyn, and Cynthia. Played Guzma and Hala. Okay, so they only got the Caitlyn and Cynthia off it. There is the Guzma and Hala usage. We'll see what they grab here. Um, they're going through quite a few supporters so far. Oh, they play Judge. Good to know. All right, we'll see what they get off the Guzma and Hala. Thunder Mountain Choice Helmets. Okay, yeah, their, their hand is definitely going to be fairly cleared out of cards here. Um, I don't expect you to get a one shot with a Poltergeist at all. Yeah, it's not even on my. It's not even on the 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 on the menu anymore at this point. I don't think. Do not expect it to have to do anything at this point. Interesting that they took Thunder Mountain here. Maybe they prized their other stadium. I guess. Um, there's one E power and then a full blitz. The E power usage is also interesting because it kind of doesn't make any sense. Uh, we'll see where they load up their energy here. It could be on the Picaram actually because they could go with the tag bolt on the following turn. Nope, gonna be to the bench. All right, that's fine with me. Another Viridian Forest. Um, Poltergeist in here does not seem very good, but I don't know if I have if I can do anything else. Anyways, I almost just want to start with Cynthia and get some more options. Because right now we have like no energy to put in the discard pile. Yeah. I mean, I guess we're going to Poltergeist again. I don't know if we're going to do any damage though. They maybe played, maybe that's why they played the E-Power to get rid of literally all the 
trainer cards out of their hand. Um, yep, that could definitely be it. So we might actually just do like zero damage. We're gonna treasure away this guy. I'm gonna grab myself a. Um, there's nothing for Mewtwo to copy. Well, that could copy Tag Purge. To copying Tag Purge would be pretty good. But then if they paralyze us, we're gonna need our second switch. And I'm already trying to think. I already think I'm looking for a switch this turn. Um, so I could just get Ultra Necrozma. Plan to take a one shot. Get rid of a Jirachi. Get a Psychic for Ultra Necrozma. Throw down Ultra. Attach a Psychic. And then I guess we will. Ju I'm just gonna Poltergeist. Let's see what we hit. For. Oh, we still hit for. We still hit for a decent amount of damage. Okay, okay, okay. 120. That's actually not too bad. I didn't expect to hit for that much at all with how they played out their turn. They put a lot of stuff in the discard pile. A lot of trainer cards. They moved a lot of trainer cards out of the way. There's that Wait and See Hammer, bro. Everyone's favorite Wait and See Hammer. So like in every deck right now. Every time I play against any deck, I'm like, oh shoot, there's their wait and see hammer. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, we do hit for 120. That's a pretty reasonable number. I didn't expect to hit for that much at all. I'm not gonna lie. That means we can actually use uh, fireworks bomb on the next turn to knock out this Pika Um Yeah, I did not did not expect to do that much damage at all. That is way more damage than I thought we were gonna do. Um, they can knock out. They can draw four prizes this turn though. They could set up a tag bolt with a attach return plus tag switch so that could happen so that's that's what we're that's like the ideal play for our opponent now they did just play caitlin and cynthia which is not a volker which gets tag switch and what's it called um there is a yeah caitlin and cynthia to get a mellow and lana that's fine not worried about that we'll see what else they are able to do here there's a cherish ball uh, yeah, no way to heal their active now anymore they probably only play mal and lana for healing cards so the baby blacephalon should knock this out on the next turn they should be knocking this out which means we should be able to knock this out with the baby blacephalon's fireworks bomb because they're going to go down to three prize cards which means we're going to do 12 damage counters on some wherever we want and it's going to all end up on the speaker arm and we're going to knock him out then we will have this guy ultra necrozma ready to go to knock out something else something next turn doing doing something Yep, goodbye. Uh, King Garmin, they could knock out our Ultra Necrozma. We do want to set up. I think what we want to set up here is actually another Malamar, ideally. That's what we want to look to set up. It's just another Malamar. So, or I guess an NK. As long as the Malamar's in the deck. Or we're drawing three prize cards, so there's a good chance we could have our prize cards anyways. So we'd probably. Because this deck only does run the three Malamars. It's, uh, it's not the heaviest in the Malamar category. Um. Just uh, hit him with a reinforce away this. Get ourselves a check. Malamar is prize. We're drawing three prize cards, so there's a good chance we get it. We do play two Malamar and Lana. I completely forgot about that. Um, psychic recharge, psychic recharge. Just get ourselves a metal energy to have in the hand, I guess. I'm not going to put it into play yet. Um, bench NK. Stellar Wish. Grab ourselves Malamar and Lana. Get the option, I guess. Better to have an option of Malamar and Lana than not. We're going to Psychic Recharge to the Baby Blacephalon and Psychic Recharge to the Ultra Necrozma, like I said. And then we will use the Baby Blacephalon to knock out this Picaram. And then we will do something else on the following turn to hopefully be able to win the game. Gonna heal, hold the Metal Energy. Fireworks Bomb, all 12 to the peak. Take him out. And we are set up to win the game as of right now, because if they knock out our active with Raichu and Raichu, then this guy with a metal plus double second recharge does knock out the Raichu and Raichu. However, I do expect them to try and knock out our Ultra Necrozma this turn with, uh, there's the Malamar. Uh, something like Great Catcher this up, knock it out. They can also reset Stampus, which would take away our current hand, which has a lot of good cards in it, uh, making it harder for us to win the game on our next turn. They can use Hoopa, but we actually one-shot Hoopa. Uh, maybe they're setting up Hoopa so they can actually retreat into the Alone Rancher. Yeah, so the ideal play on our opponent's turn is Great Catcher this, attach active, reset stamp to one, and then go from there. And then on our side, our side is, uh, well, we hope we get uh, Mewtwo, a Metal Energy, Double Psychic Recharge, Triple Psychic Recharge, knock out the Raichu and Alolan Raichu. That's our game plan. Or Double Psychic Recharge and then Great Catcher up the Zerora. So, yeah, it depends what we get. But that's our game plan as a response to our opponent's ideal game plan, which they haven't executed yet. So they might just not get there and then we just win the game because our opponent got nothing. We'll have to wait and see. Very possible they do have stuff. I think they just used Viridian Forest. I can actually check here. Yep, yeah, played Viridian Forest. They got rid of the uh, communication, I believe. Uh, grabbed nothing. 
Um, I don't even know how many energy they have left. It's interesting that they play the rainbow energy, but I guess that means... No, I was going to say that means they could use Mind Shock, but I thought it took a dark, but it's just three colorless, so they could just use Mind Shock no matter what. No idea why they play rainbow energy then. They're actually using the Hoopa to take the knockout here, and yeah, that is going to be game... That was interesting. They could have at least retreated to the Raichu and Raichu. Uh, no idea why they didn't, and we're just going to win the game here with Photon Geyser. Maybe they just realized immediately after that, wait, we just lose the game here. And yeah, Photon Geyser, knock out the Hoopa, take a dub in this first game over the peak. All right, we are back at it, this time going second. Uh, we are in a mirror match. All right, we'll see how much of a mirror match it is. Uh, definitely, I don't know, oh, there's a tag call. So it's probably actually pretty close to a 60-60 mirror. Um, if they're playing the uh, the list that did just get second like I am. Um, I have to imagine that this is a pretty tough... Like, I don't even know how to go about the mirror match when we don't have Mew or Mew. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to do. We're, we're just both going to have a bunch of big heavy hitters. I guess we would, we're would we just going to use uh, Giratina here. Because um, they have opted into using the Mewtwo. I would rather be the one on the... Giratina side of things, so I'm just going to set up Giratina first, as long as he's not prized, and then uh, go from there. Our opponent can go after Mewtwo all they want, um, but I'm not I'm not down for that, so yeah, I'm going to use Giratina. I could also use Latios if I want to, um, but yeah, I'm just going to use Giratina early on here. That seems like the best best course of action to me. Giratina seems a little bit better than the Mewtwo. There is Ultra Necrozma, I guess. That is going to be a big player in the matchup um, on that six prize turn, or when we both get down to a a point where we can be using the ultra across that's going to be a big game changer for sure so that's that's definitely a factor have to keep that in mind as well i didn't even really consider that <clears throat> until right now and i'm like oh wait that is a thing all right so our plan is going to be mysterious treasure away the psychic then we'll treasure away the garatina that is hopefully not prized um and then attach a skateboard lily for some cards attach the psychic to the garatina before we do that Hopefully our top deck is a live card, something we can play down. Um, if not, we'll be draw we'll be using Lily for one less card. Ideally, we Lily for one more card, though. So hopefully you know, our top deck is like, an oh, there's a Viridian Force from our opponent. So that means there's one less card we can get out of our hand now is that because of that Viridian Force. So now we can go Treasure Away Viridian Forest, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to Treasure Away Viridian Forest. I need to thin out the hand. I want to try and draw as many cards with Lily as possible. So we'll end up with one less Psychic. Oh, no. There's an Ultra across my top deck. All right. All right. Yeah, we're going to Treasure Away Viridian Forest. I'm going to grab Kiratina. I'm going to Viridian Forest away the Psychic. Oh, I guess it's the same thing no matter what. Yeah, I don't know. I overthought that one. We could have actually ended up with him in the discard pile. We could have gone... No. Well, no, we would end up with a second in the discard pile. So I would rather end up with it like this, actually. All right, skateboard active. Lily for six. Hopefully draw to some stuff. That's some stuff. Do Inkes. And I will, still a wish, hopefully find Cynthia. There we go. And I'm actually going to retreat into the uh, Giratina here and let our opponent knock it out because I do not want to... Oh, a Destruction Draw on the Mewtwo actually would have been a pretty big deal. Yeah, I kind of messed up here. I'm not going to lie. So I should have gone with... <clears throat> what could I have gone with then? Treasure Away Psychic, get Giratina. Viridian Force Away, Giratina. <sighs> but then I draw like one less card off Lily, which kind of stinks. But then it's worth probably because then I get the the ping on the Mewtwo, which means that Giratina now one-shots the Mewtwo. But maybe I get that anyways. I don't know. This is the position we're in now. We're going to run with it. Hopefully they knock out our Giratina this turn. If not, we're just going to get a switch. Switch it out of the active. Yeah, double slate recharge and then just use the shadow impact or that's going to be the game plan anyways for the turn we'll see what our opponent has um they were definitely too aggressive with the mewtwo have them having this mewtwo in play is very good for us um for sure um but uh yeah that was definitely a i don't know overextension i definitely not ideal gameplay from my side definitely could have played that out a little bit better it was definitely a little bit uh, off it's all right we'll get him in the we'll get him on the next turn for sure I was like kind of going down two lines of game plan in my head and then I went with one over the other and it ends up, you know, obviously not being super good here. Uh, looks like they're just going to go in with that Night Watch here. That's fine with me. That means the tag team is in the active. Um, yeah, so this works out fine. For, this works out fine for me. As long as they don't, even if they rip our Cynthia, we still have Stellar Wish to work with. So no matter what, it's not really a big deal here. Yep, they get rid of our stamp and our ultra. That means absolutely nothing. All right, go Jirachi. 
Okay, so I'm going to have Viridian Forest away in the Ganadel. Get ourselves, whoa, a Psychic Energy. We are going to Distortion Door. I'm going to hit up the um, Jirachi and Malamar, I believe. Yep. Going to Communication, get rid of a Mewtwo. Grab ourselves a Malamar. There's only one Malamar left in the deck. We do have two Com, two Treasure, and a Stellar Wish to work with. So we're in. It's still a good spot to get this this uh, turn two Shadow Impact off. We might even try and find Mimikyu if we can. Um, to there he is to uh, slow down our opponent. And there, well, we whiffed. Okay, so that's not good. Um, hmm. I guess we take the reset stamp <clears throat> for now. Yeah, so getting like getting that distortion door damage ping there would have been very good. Once again, did not do it. Did not get it. Um, I'm just gonna load up the Giratina again though, in case they're ever thinking about not attacking our our Giratina. And we're gonna retreat to Giratina and pass because we whiffed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we whiffed the the Malamar. A little bit unfortunate there, but we're not in the worst. Still not in the worst spot ever because they still have a tag team in play. The biggest thing here is that they still have a tag team in play. Uh, which we can deal with eventually, hopefully, ideally. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and deal with that. And we still have Ultra Necrozma to work with. We know he's in the deck. We got our Metal Energy in the deck. So we should, we're still in a fine spot. Um, let me clean up, clean up my gameplay a little bit and we'll be okay. There's a comp from our opponent. Probably going to get their second Malamar out. Um, this Inke kind of looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, it kind of looks like a pumpkin there. All right, we'll see what they do here. They did get themselves a Blacephalon. Curious to see what they do with that. Very curious to see what they do with that. If they're going to attack with it this turn, or they're setting it up for when I KO the Mew and Mewtwo, or I don't know what the heck they're thinking. Uh, they have a Blacephalon to work with now, though. Uh, there's the Distortion Door from our opponent. Um, kind of defaulting into what a more traditional Malamar mirror match, mirror match looks like right now. I mean, they, like I said, they did open up with the Mewtwo, which made things a little bit awkward. <clears throat> but now we're getting back into uh, some more classic Malamar gameplay here, I think. There's a Psychic. We're actually not going to knock out this Mewtwo. We're going to try and trap. Yeah, I got a game plan now. We're going to trap the Mewtwo. We're going to hit it for 160. Um, when they go down to three prize cards, we're going to use Baby Blacephalon. And we're going to put a bunch of damage in play. And then we're going to use Ultra Necrozma's GX attack to kind of draw six prizes in one turn and never give our opponent the chance to actually use their own Ultra Necrozma. There's the Night Watch. Goodbye, Giratina. What did they get? Oh, they got our Cynthia. That kind of stinks. Not going to lie. All right. Send up Jirachi. We'll see what we draw here. It's a great catcher. I would prefer a different supporter to work with. That gets us the uh, Malamar, though. So I think we just want the Malamar instead. I'm going to Caitlyn and Cynthia first. We're going to discard the Latios. I don't think I need that anymore. Um, our opponent should not be using Mewtwo anymore anytime soon. Uh, after we knock out some stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and treasure away a Mallow and Lana. Sure. I don't think I need Mallow and Lana. As things are getting one shot now. Baby Blacephalon is in the deck. That's the important thing to look for. Evolve to this. And then I'll Verdian Forest away in a skateboard. Going to get ourselves a Psychic Energy. Then we're going to go Distortion Door on Malamar and Malamar. Or Inke and Malamar. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, Distortion Door. <clears throat> Inke and Malamar. Boop and boop. Hit him up. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and attach to this guy. going to bench the Mimikyu. Like I said, we're going to trap the Mew and Mewtwo. We're not going to knock it out. Actually, it's actually better I did not Distortion Door it. Now that this game plan is kind of developed in my head, I'm like, wait. We just hit it uh, and have this guy in play. They can't use it, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, Shadow Impact here. 260. Not knocking it out. Now it's trapped in play. Can't be utilized because we have this. I guess they could GX attack, but then we could hit it again. Yeah, they could GX attack still and heal all this damage. And then we would well, Cephalon for the turn, heal up, and then we hit this again for 260. And then we would Ultra Necrozma GX attack. And we would still come out on top over the next three turns. So even if they do GX attack with the Mew and Mewtwo, which they can do right here, right now, if they really want to. Uh, we would still come out on top on the prize exchange. So it would be fine if they went down that route overall. Um, and I don't even know if they're going to think of that. That's uh, the next level gameplay for sure. But that means they lose their GX attack, which means 
our baby Blacephalon, or our we would have access to Ultra Necrozma, and they wouldn't, uh, which would be a really big deal, actually, for us to be able to use Ultra Necrozma and our opponent not to be able to use Ultra Necrozma. Because that is definitely, like, the best attacker in the mirror match. The, the best GX attack you can use in the mirror match is definitely Ultra Necrozma's GX attack. They went ahead, they got rid of Mewtwo there. Let's see what they grab. What are they going to get? It's going to be this. It's going to be that. We'll see. Can we see? Anytime soon. What you got? Taking their time. All right. We do know that they have the Baby Blacephalon on hand, so I didn't prize that. I am curious to see what else that they might have access to. Oh, wait. They grabbed him again. What'd they get rid of? Did they play it as a and get rid of him or something? I guess, maybe. All right. Lily for three. <clears throat> like I said, we're not knocking this thing out. Gonna trap it in the active, gonna leave it there. Force them to need as much as possible over these next few turns. I think they're gonna be knocking us out with Giratina. I guess they could not. Um, it depends what else they draw. They have attached there for a turn. They don't have any energy in the discard pile to use a psychic recharge. So I'm not sure what their game plan is gonna be from here. Although it seems like it would be to attack with the Giratina. We'll just kind of have to wait and see what they actually do. Um, there's a Miraculous Duo. <clears throat> they do knock us out, but they don't get the heal because they didn't have the extra energy card. So that's fine with me. That's the only thing we are scared of. So we're sending up the Jirachi. Gonna draw a reset stamp. Um, I could just play that right now. I don't really mind if that gets played. Yeah, we can go ahead and reset stamp our opponent. Gonna go ahead and play Cynthia. Gonna find ourselves a Baby Blacephalon. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. We got it all. Um... Reinforced. Get ourselves a metal. Still our wish. Get ourselves a switch. Baby Blazephalon. Psychic recharge twice here. And like I said, we're just gonna set up for the Ultra Necrozma GX attack. Nothing else. Um, so psychic recharge twice onto the Baby Blacephalon. Hit him with the hard retreat. Fireworks bomb. This guy goes up to three. This guy goes up to three. And then we put one, two, three, four, five there. And I guess the rest here. And yeah, they are all set up to be... Uh... Oh, wait. I can't use this GX attack yet. Oh... Uh... No, we can. they're going to knock this out. And then we're going to Giratina ping this. Knock this out. And then we will knock out then we'll build the gx attack i was like wait a second we have to have six or less total so that doesn't work out quite how i wanted it to so we should have probably put 10 here especially after they gx attacked that would have been fine so we could have gone like one less here one more here gx attack on the next turn for some reason i thought we could gx attack next turn no matter what but we actually have to knock this thing out but this thing can't attack anymore so they're gonna have to retreat and then we can ping it with giratina after they kill this with giratina and then we will ping it knock it out go down to three prize cards have six prize cards left and if not, then we just go Fireworks Bomb. And then next turn, use the Ultra Necrozma. We're going to do it in two turns. I just messed up again. I, I It's been a long time since I've played with Ultra Necrozma in a Malamar deck. I, we're, we're fine, though. We're fine. We still win the game. It's just going to take maybe one turn longer than it should have. But uh, we're still going to come out on top on the end here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think there's anything. It looks like we're playing an exact mirror match here. Um, yeah, looks like they're playing the exact list that also got second place at the regional in Sao Paulo. So, yeah, but we're fine. Just do, we're going to do basically the same thing. A little bit different than what we wanted to do, but it's going to do basically, the, it's the same end goal. We still win the game, basically. There's a Latios. Don't know what that's going to do for our opponent. Probably nothing, but there's maybe nothing else for them to grab at this point that they would even try and utilize. See what else they got do they have anything do they have nothing what do they got what's going on it's going to be the hard retreat to the jirachi all right all right stellar wish that's fine i have another turn with this can i just draw six prizes six six no that's all my damage i was like all right six no <laughs> skateboard that's not going to do a whole ton for our opponent then there is the cynthia all right they do need, they did hard retreat already, so they need their second switch to be able to actually attack this turn. And if they do attack, I'm actually not sure what they would even attack with. But it would probably be 
the fireworks bomb. If they're paying attention to what my game plan is going to be on my turn, then they actually can't knock out our Blacephalon. And yeah, there's the concession from our opponent. There's pretty much no way they won anymore at that point. I think we had it locked up, even though I did misplay at the end there. Once again, like I said, learning the deck, figuring out how it works. There's a lot of things that happen in the deck. A lot of things to go through but that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give the video a like if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe um have a good day leave your thoughts in the comment section below and peace